Hello everyone out there on Facebook. Thanks for joining in for Live Art Mini. I'm Stephen Smith coming to you from Inside Out Studio and I'm here today with Mallory Miller. Is there anyone special you want to say hi to today? Maybe mom, you think she's watching out there today? Could be, so hi mom. So thanks for joining us today. We've got a special episode. It's a Christmas edition. We're gonna be making some ugly sweater masks. So we've got a lot of these plain white masks, which are kind of plain and simple. We can jazz them up a little bit because we're an art studio. So what we've got is a lot of glitter. We've got some pom-poms. We've got pipe cleaners and jingle bells. And we're gonna adorn our masks for the holiday season. So. We are gonna have some fun today. We're gonna to start off with Mallory. She's gonna be decorating her first mask, but we're gonna stop in with all the artists today to see their creative takes on how to create a ugly sweater Christmas mask. And we've got Brett Garrett watching out there. Brett's watching, say hi to Brett. Hope you're doing well, Brett. And then uh, we also want to just stop in with Mallory for a bit and get to know the artist a little bit more. So I've asked Mallory about some of her interest in lights. And Mallory, would you like to share what's the most interesting place you've ever visited? Like on vacation. You have a favorite spot that you like to visit? I know you've been to so many different states. You want to name some all for us? Still thinking about that. I know that you've been to a number of places. Florida, correct? Tennessee. Georgia. Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Virginia. Yeah. Traveled all around the East Coast and down south for vacation. Not really. <laughs> no. But it sounds like you've had you've been to a number of states. And I know you're a big fan of some reality TV. I heard you watched the Kardashians. You still watching that show? I quit. <laughs> yeah, not so much. All right, well, we'll get to know Mallory a little bit more as she starts working on her mask. And then we're gonna pause and give a big shout out to Sherry Armstead and Symmetry Boutique and Gallery in Fairfield. They are our live art mini season sponsors. So things are getting close to Christmas where we can half away. So if you need anything, check out Inside Out Studio, check out our online store, and check out Symmetry Boutique and Gallery in Fairfield on Sims Road. Both of us have one-of-a-kind, unique, handmade gifts. All right, Mally, you got some ideas for how you want to decorate your mask today? We're just kind of work it out as we go. I know you pre-selected some things that we're going to start decorating with. And I'll say keep tuned to Facebook because over the next week or so, we're gonna start posting pictures of all the artists take on decorating their Christmas masks for the season. We'll have a little competition that you can vote for your favorite one. We've also got Kathleen Honeycutt watching out there. She said she's working on some Christmas gifts as we speak. She's an awesome fabric artist here at the art studio. So check out her work as well. Shall we go to the creative cam? We're gonna switch cameras here. And go overhead as you start to put your mask together. All right, let's get to work. So you've got your mask. If you want to spread that out, you can start to pick where you will place. You've got some pom poms. You've got some pipe cleaners, some bows and jingle bells. You tell me where they like to go, and we'll figure out how to get them attached appropriately. What do you want to start with today? Pom-poms, jingle bells, or bows? Gonna go with the bow, all right. Well, that's an easy D DIY, so I'll show you. You just have to peel off the paper on the back. I'll get one going for you if you want to do that one. Okay. 
You just peel off the back like that, and then you kind of stick it down wherever you like on top of the mat. Can I sign my name on the end? And if it's not sticking too well, we've got some hot glue prepared. It's been warming, it's ready to go. Is that staying on there pretty well? Not really. Okay. So we're just going to, I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue here. If you want to put your bow right on top. I'll say this is, disclaimer, it's for decorative purposes only. I wouldn't suggest putting hot glue on your mask if you're wearing them for safety purposes or reasons. So this is just all fun and games here in the studio. And then if you want to go ahead and do your bow right there. I can peel another one for you if you like. If you want to take care mm -hmm. of that one. So we just started this yesterday. We thought it'd be a fun little break in the studio. Everyone's still hard at work making ornaments, fulfilling commissions for the season. But our artists do love enjoying the holidays and celebrating. So this is a unique twist uh, thought up by Terry Elms and Kim Davis in the studio. I have to give credit where credit is due. How's that one come along? How about I trade you one? I'll pass over this bow to you. So that's already got to stick them on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I'll get this one ready for you. So everyone's heard of ugly sweaters, ugly Christmas sweater parties. We put our own little twist on it with the ugly Christmas sweater mask. Where would you like to place that? That can go wherever you want. We had some fun yesterday. One of our artists, Jason Braun, adorned his with a bunch of googly eyes. It was like a little creature looking at you. And over on that side. And I'll pass one more your way. We can spread this out, make it a little bit easier so it's a flatter surface for you to stick it on. So I think this is something fun that you could do at home. If you go to most stores, it doesn't have to be a specific art store. You can find craft products like pom-poms and ribbons, bells, bows. Have some fun with the family this season in spite of COVID. <laughs> and after you get that bow on there, Mallory, which would you like to switch to? Some pom-poms or jingle bells? Jingle bells? Cool. Mm. All right, let me go get some string for you. While you're finishing up that bow, I'll grab some string. Thank you, Terry. Our head elf, Terry, is working behind the scenes, making everything happen nice and smoothly. We got Michelle Barnes Davis out there. You say hi to Michelle. Hello! <laughs> Let me give you a hand with that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll do one more purple bow and then switch to the jingle bells. There we go. So you just stick that straight down. That should be enough tape to hold it in place. Very nice. And then we've got a number of jingle bells. Where would you like those to go? Look at go across the top, on the bottom, down the middle, where your nose goes. No, 
What about I just use green balls since I have, don't have any green? What do you think there, Mallory? Would you like to go side to side or up and down? Just right down the middle? Mm -hmm. All right, that'd be cool. So what we'll do is the jingle bells need to go onto the string. It's kind of elastic. So I'll cut a link for us to use. And also, for those of you watching at home, we're just going to make a snip into the surface. So I said, once again, disclaimer, this is not for protective uses. This is more for decorative and for fun. So we're going to just snip a little hole there so we can tie the string on and attach our jingle bills. So I just made a quick little snip right at the top there. Now we'll do another one at the bottom. Been enjoying some Christmas tunes in the studio today. We've got some Elvis Blue Christmas playing in the background. Mallory, do you have a favorite Christmas song? Christmas Carol. Do you like the old school stuff or do you like the new takes on the songs? It's all right if you don't have a favorite song. Mine would be yeah. Mariah Carey and Insane. Oh, so you like kind of like the modern pop version. That's it. All I Want for Christmas is You. Mariah Carey. What's the NSYNC one? Anyone know the NSYNC Christmas song? got Jackson 5 with Santa Claus is coming to town so if you're watching out there tell us your favorite Christmas song give us some requests we can put them on our Spotify go ahead and slide that jingle bell on there very good and we'll just put all of them on the same string and then we're going to attach it down there at the bottom that way you have your jingle bells going straight down the middle of your mask. Terry, what's your favorite Christmas song? Uh, Chris, Banner, uh, Chris Brown, This Christmas. This, this <laughs> Christmas by Chris Brown, very nice. I always get that Paul McCartney Christmas song stuck in my head. <laughs> Through the movie? Simply yeah. having wonderful oh. Christmas time. <laughs> Never mind on that one. <laughs> one of the few times you'll ever hear me try to sing. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to wrap that around and tie it in. So everyone watching out there, just want to give a reminder. Check out the comment sections. You'll find a link to our YouTube channel where you can see all the previous live art minis for the year. I think we've created quite a number of them. You mind if I just tie this down for you? Mm. Cool. So we're just going to secure this at the bottom. Tie it nice and tight. Like I said, we've got our elastic string here. We're going to 
tie it down. All right. So, Ms. Mallory, we are going to visit with some of the other artists today. So we just want to give a pause and show you what Mallory has created so far. We've got this nice decorative mask, purple bows, a few jingle bells, and she's going to continue to add some more to that. So we're going to check in with the other artists. Let me switch our camera real quick. Ooh, there we are, Mallory. Hey! So we're going to check in with our other artists to see what they've been doing and decorating. So we've got Mark, James, and Nadia here in the studio. But before we do that, we're going to send a quick message from Sherry Armstead over at Symmetry Gallery Boutique in Fairfield. Hi, it's Sherry. I'm here at Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. And it may seem a little early for Christmas, but people are shopping and we wanted you to be aware we're ready. So come on in or shop online at symmetryboutiqueandgallery.com. Uh, here's just a few things that we've sold year after year. Um, the Santas that we had, this one has a full fur coat and um, I call it a Santa with legs and a sweater. The lady who makes these lives in Fairfield and she does each one by hand and they're all from recycled materials that she's gathered um, from numerous places. So come on down and check out the Santas and we've got some great ornaments. Um, the Nativity is really one of our top sellers. Um, these fancy ones like this are uh, laser cut from a, an artist in Utah. So we've got um, wood ones that are laser cut. We've got some great ornaments as well as the glass balls that are hanging in the window. And I appreciate you watching this and come see us soon at 1000 Sims Road, Fairfield. Or again, shop online with us. We'll be happy to see you. Thanks. All right, thank you Sherry Armstead Symmetry Gallery for being our season sponsor for Live Art Mini. We're about to get rolling. Here's my favorite part of the show, is rolling around the studio. We did have Kathleen comment. Her favorite songs is the Christmas song and Deck the Halls. Mallory, have fun decorating the rest of your mask. We're sliding on over here to Mark. There's Derek. Oh, we had a bump in the studio. <laughs> Deck the Halls with boughs of holly. All right, Mark Hodge is showcasing his mask he made yesterday. Mark comes on Mondays and Tuesdays, so he's had the opportunity to create his mask already. Mark, you want to come a little bit closer? So there, here's our camera right there, so you can showcase what you've made. Very good. We're going to just tilt this up so people can see it a little bit better. So he's got some Christmas trees. We've got some nice golden ribbons as well, and some jingle bells. So Mark, I also want to showcase what you've been working on. I'm going to slide around you here for a second. Yep, there we go. So Mark has been working from this France book okay. that was brought in by Jody Mann, one of our fabulous yeah, artists. So he's doing a, a scene of a golf course here mm -hmm. on some cliffs in glorious France. Very detailed pencil drawing, large scale. Looks amazing. All right, we're going to go visit with <laughs> artist Nadia Denis. Thank you, Mark. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling up to Nadia. Uh-oh. All right, what you got going on, Nadia? Got a Christmas tree and I'm putting, making it look like it has ornaments. I don't know if anybody can see that. Yep, we can see it nice and clear right there. I'm gonna scoot this over. All right, what's your favorite thing about the holidays? Music, movies, food. I like watching movies with my family. <laughs> nice. What's your favorite Christmas movie? I have to say Jack Frost. Oh, uh, with Michael Keaton? Uh, I don't know which one it is. It's the one where the dad passes away and he comes back as a snowman. I think that's the, uh, that's the one. I know that there's like a, a horror movie as well called Jack Frost. Oh I yeah, I did not like the horror <laughs> movie. I have not seen either Jack Frost, so I have to check that out. So. All right. <laughs> but it's my, me and my sister's favorite movie, something that we can both agree on. Very so, nice. yeah. Well, let's see what we're doing here for your mask. You've got Christmas trees with the jingle bells that you put together already. Yep. And I'm 
gonna put it on here okay. put them on both sides let me know if you need any assistance i'll leave it to you you can take over the show from here on out <laughs> but i'm here as your assistant if need be to attach those how are you thinking about sticking them onto the mask um i was going to super glue them to the mask okay and let it dry and just leave it alone for a little bit and work on something else okay i think i if i can give you uh, some advice I'd say maybe some string onto the mask would be better than super glue because that's going to hold it more long term so we could actually snip a little hole here I'll give you one example it's going to create a little hole right there and if I could I'm going to take this around the bottom corner of the tree, I'd say the bottom two corners as well as the top of the tree, and then send it through the hole and tie it on there. To try to keep it on there? Mm hmm. Maybe two little holes. Might just go with a longer piece of this elastic as well. So we'll send it in one side. And then you wrap it around the pipe cleaner. Send it through the other side and then tie it on the back. That way it's not visible. So it kind of holds it in place right there. And then if you tie it on the back, no one can see the knot. You can cut off the extra elastic once it's secured. And then it stays in place there permanently. I think the hot glue would probably wear off with time. Okay. Sound like a deal? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna cut two little notches here you can get the other bottom part. I'm probably going to end up in dub double knot knotting your things though. That's <laughs> fine. I like to put several knots so it doesn't come off because I make jewelry at home. So I do this a lot. Awesome. <laughs> but make sure you don't get on the naughty list. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's the first of many bad jokes you might get today, everybody. <laughs> I'll slide that over to you if you want to try your hand at the other one. If you need assistance, I can jump in there as well. Okay, I need to see where I am. Where I'm putting it. Am I? Let's see, I can, we can even take a marker and highlight where those holes are. Yeah, I think that would be better. Oh, I think I see them. But it didn't go all the way through. Let's see. Yeah. Doesn't look like it went through. I'm just going to poke it through a little bit more. As long as you don't damage my marker. Yellow, yellow. <laughs> just do a little yellow highlight where the holes are. And then you can send the elastic through and tie it on the back. Okay. See if that works. So. I go through here and like this and then mm -hmm. send it in. Yep. Send it in through either hole and then tie it on the back side of the mask. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to go through. Yeah, that's not going to go through. Let's see if I can help you. Yeah, it <laughs> that one is too small to, for it to go through. Okay. <clears throat> Probably would have been able to do it if I had a needle tool, but okay. I used to do some sewing ink at school. Yeah? Yep. So it's going through on one side, we're going to wrap it around the bottom of your tree, send it through the other side. This is the part that I have trouble with. <laughs> there we go. And then pull it tight. 
So now you can see on the front, it's being held in place. You've got two holes on either side of the bottom corner. Did it get tied? And you can tie it on the back like that. Okay. Just do a double knot. Can we say this is what not to do? <laughs> but it is what you should do. And I thought my stuff, dad was pretty cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> look at oh, look at this, all, all our cheesy jokes over That's here. That's right. <laughs> I'm a cheese expert. I got Swiss cheddar, <laughs> provolone. Okay, we don't need no more cheese over here. <laughs> Go back and tie this one too. Okay. Just to make sure. That's going to be cute. Like I said, check out your local stores around the area. You've got some art stores, craft stores, but most Ooh. larger stores, box Take stores, care. have craft sections. So you can grab some pom poms, bells, ribbons, find some standard blank white masks. Okay. Have some fun and decorate them for the holidays. And then we'll get the top part right there. So you can see Nadia is going to have. Two trees, one on either side of her mask. I see you've got some bells too. Yep. That and way we I'm not, I have not finished the other tree yet. So. That's fine. We've got the rest of the day that we're going to do this in the studio. So we're just giving an example of what people could do at home. Okay. And then to keep an eye on our Facebook for our ugly Christmas sweater mask competition for our artists as well. I don't think I'm participating in that. You <laughs> might be. You've got a good design going on here. Now before we jump but, over. Hey, you said ugliest contest so oh technically it has to be the ugliest mask you ever seen well ugly is just like a, a nod to the ugly christmas sweater it's kind oh, of yeah tongue-in-cheek it's just a saying that they use so we're going to do our our tacky christmas <laughs> holiday masks we're going to jump on over and see uh, james henry's but first we're going to give a special uh, look at morgan gadamire for our weekend special We've got Mama Neil watching at home. You want to say hi to Kim's mom out there? She's our volunteer of the year, putting in a lot of hours. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Is there anyone special you want to say hi to, Nadia, before we jump over to James? Hi, Mommy. All right. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Nadia's doing great in the studio. So we're going to take a break and check out this commercial from Morgan Gademeyer, who had to leave a little bit early today. But we've got a special wrap it up holiday uh, shopping party going on in downtown Hamilton this week brought to you by the Greater Hamilton Chamber of Commerce. So we're going to be open on Saturday from 11 to 4. So for all of your last minute gifts and needs stop by Inside Out Studio and we have special Holly Jolly wrapping paper created by Greater Hamilton Chamber of Commerce. But I'll let Morgan Gademeyer tell you all about it. I'm an artist at Inside Out Studio. Please join us this Saturday for our Holly Jolly Hamilton. We will be open from 11 till 4. We would love if you guys came in and purchased some Christmas things. We have ornaments. We have some clay ornaments and some glass ornaments. We also have a color by number, which is this right here. And this was done by another artist at the studio. So this is the finished product, and this is what it will look like before you start. We also have different wrapping stations throughout Hamilton if you would like something that you purchase to be wrapped. Um, we even have a Holly Jolly Hamilton wrapping paper to make it even more festive. So please come and support Inside Out Studio, and hope to see you here on Saturday. All right, thank you, Morgan. And then come check us out on Saturday from 11 to 4, and come check us out Monday through Friday, 10 to 4, for all of your last minute Christmas uh, gift needs. We're here with James Henry. James, have you finished your holiday mask already? Yeah. I love it. What did you use on yours? I just used pipe cleaner and put some bells and some bows, and then made a big giant red bow and glued it on, and 
It didn't take too long. Awesome. I like it. You're going to be in the running for the tackiest Christmas mask at Inside Out Studio. Oh, thank you. And a big shout out to Terry as always helping behind the scenes. It was her idea. Look, she's got her, her tacky Christmas mask on as well, rocking it out. And James, do you want to share the painting you're working on earlier today? No, I just did a painting of the last year when a few of us went to the zoo. I've got Morgan, Vicky, and Matthew in the background with some bears and penguins from the zoo. Nice, very nice. And you, all right, you can check out all of James's artwork as well as all the other artists' artwork here at Inside Out Studio on our online store. So look for that link in the comments page. And don't forget this Saturday, Greater Hamilton Chamber of Commerce in downtown Hamilton on High and Main Street. We've got special wrap it up. 11 to 4, we're going to be open. So that's a wrap from Inside Out Studio with our wrapping paper. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Mm -hmm. Woo.